Okay, hello! for this video today because after I filmed my little activewear haul you guys were telling me that you like loved the hauls which is so flattering because I'm honestly not a fashion vlogger but I like to sprinkle in a little bit of like body image positivity all that different stuff into these videos and I thought it would be fun to do a little thrift haul today because if you follow me on Instagram I'm out to the kitchen you will know that I am obsessed with thrifty and a new thrift store opened here in Austin and I just could not be more in love with it. So I wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that I got from there today so that you can kind of see what we're working with. I don't know. I just really like seeing these types of videos because I love watching thrift hauls and finds. If I can find anything similar, like a similar piece or something that's newer, I'll try to link it down below to check that out as well. But I'm also excited because I'm working with Ana Luisa on this video, which is such a dream because you guys know I'm obsessed with gold jewelry. Like that is just my thing. I feel like beauty jewelry is such a beautiful way to express yourself. And so I wanted to show you guys how I've been styling this jewelry with the clothes that I got because what I love about them is they're actually such a sustainable company, which I feel like goes right along with thrifting because they're actually carbon neutral and they're the first jewelry company to be that way, which I think is so cool. And for me, I just can't really afford that super expensive jewelry and I don't want to compromise in quality at the same time. And that's what I love about their pieces. They literally range from $38 upwards. So there's something for everybody and they're just really versatile yet high quality. So you guys can see I'm actually wearing the little earrings here. I think these are so cute because they have the little diamond kind of thing in between. And then they hang on this little hoop. So you can actually even take this part off, which is really fun because it makes them really versatile. And then I am obsessed with this necklace. I just find it to be so flattering. It really layers well with other necklaces too if you wanted to add on, but there's just something so beautiful and dainty about it. And yet it's still very sturdy along with this ring and i just think they all go so well together it's like a little um braid i don't know why i couldn't think of the word and i just think that layering all these pieces together makes it look so beautiful so timeless oh, and i just love it and so if you want to check them out i do have a link down below which is mal 10 i'll get you some off and we'll show how i style them too with this because i feel like they go really well with a lot of these clothes and so I'm going to show you guys actually when I went thrifting in this next clip and then we'll come back and do a full haul because the thrift is always just such the experience and we can't disclude that from the video. Alrighty guys, it is thrift store time. There's nothing exactly that I would say we're looking for today. We are going to consign some APL shoes and some of Brian's boots. Um, so we'll see how those do. But I feel like mostly it would be fun to find like a cute dress, maybe an outfit for tonight, something to wear, but there's nothing I like particularly need. I'm gonna find a lot of things that I feel like I need.
successful trip in like getting a bunch of things, but I don't know if you guys saw, but those out, I have no idea how to say them, Agoldi. I don't want to say it totally wrong. I swear I manifested that because I've even shown Brian, I've been wanting these jeans and seeing them everywhere. And I literally walk in and they're on, they're not even like in the right spot. They're facing on like the side facing me and they're in my exact size and the exact color I wanted in this exact fit I wanted. And I was just and like, what? And they're brand new. No, they're, they literally had the tags on them. They're originally $190 jeans and they sold them for 32. Shout out Peyton. Yeah, so I was pretty hyped about that. I'm now questioning like, do I go fancier? See, now I really want to wear the jeans, but I'm, I'm wearing, questioning if I I'm need to go jeans. fancier. I'm wearing jeans. Anyways, I'm that's sure. not why they're here for this video. It's not a vlog, but successful trip to get. And I'll try those on again along with all of the other good clothes that I've kind of picked up throughout this past little bit thrifting in this next portion and show you how I'm pairing them with the jewels today. Okay, so the first outfit is actually on my bod. Yes, this is all thrifted. So let's get a better angle going, shall we? Okay, so this is one of my best thrift finds of all time. So these are vintage Levi jeans, like a true, true vintage Levi. Okay, wait, I can't handle this camera angle. So essentially, I don't even think, they, they don't make the style anymore, but they're just so flattering and they're super, super worn in. So I don't know if you guys can see in the fabric, but literally, oh, just ignore my other clothes to try on. You can see that they're literally tearing some at the top of these but it honestly just goes so well with it. And for me with my body type, I have a hard time because my legs are a little bit larger, not in a negative way, just that they are. I mean, that's how I'm built. And my waist is a little bit smaller. So I have a hard time getting things that are proportionate. And yet these are perfect. They just hug in all the right places. So I'll try to find what type these are, but I wasn't able to. And as you can see, the tag is like fully worn off too. And I paired this with this little top. So I think that Pavement has a basically agreement with Urban Outfitters where they give them some of their like overproduced items or they make some for them. So this is an Urban top but I got it literally for 10 bucks. I love it because it's versatile. You can wear it without a bra and it feels so nice. And what I really like about these is they make me feel confident in my body. And that's kind of what I think is important about these hauls that people miss is how does it make me feel? And I just think that this is really nice for women that are more small chested, that it's still flattering and definitely holds you in. And at the same time, these jeans, I just feel like whenever I put them on, they make me feel so confident and that's exactly what you want out of jeans. You know what I mean? So the next thing we're going to go into is some sweatshirts because Every time I go thrifting, guys, I go overboard, overboard on the sweatshirts because I'm obsessed with them. And a tip is to always shop in the men's section. Don't shop in the women's sections, okay? I'm not saying you can't find good things, but I'm also saying you're not gonna find as good of things, okay? That's it, I'm just starting out there. Disclaimer, some of these are dirty. So, just don't look too close, you know what I mean? because I like them so much that I wear them all the time. So they're a little dirty. Anyways, let's let's move on to the next thing. This one is the Wilson hoodie. The fun thing about this is it is truly a Wilson hoodie. So if you look at the tag, it literally is a Wilson tag. I got this for $8, which is unreal. And it's just that perfect heavy sweatshirt material that is not itchy and it just feels so good. I feel like they probably would have a modern day, modern day, but like a current version of this. So I'll definitely try to find one, but it's just the perfect type of sweatshirt. And I think that these look so cute with a little earring like this, like the gold and the gold, I feel like just complements each other really well. It's a nice little touch to add in. And honestly, I wear something like this all the time, like a sweatshirt for me, some jeans, a fiddle, <laughs> just kidding. But I just feel like that's the perfect 
combo. So when I discovered this sweatshirt, to put it lightly, it changed my life. Yeah, okay. Because there is something about, so this is a t-shirt, but it's a sweatshirt. And for any of you that live in hot places, such as Austin, Texas, or I am, you know the quality of this. Because as it starts to get to fall, you like you want the little comfy sweatshirt feeling, and yet it's still 90 degrees out, and you're like, okay, wait, what? So you put on this bad boy, and you're good to go. I am so sad because it's got a stain in the washer, so ignore that. But other than this, I just love this with anything I wear to the studio all the time. I think it's such a cute, like fun little top that you don't see. I literally got this for $7 in the men's section. I'm trying to remember what brand it is. It's super vintage, old school. I think it's Hanes, maybe? Oh no, it's uh, Sport. I'll link the brand down, because they need to make more of these. I don't know why this is not a trend. I'm gonna try to make it a trend, but everybody needs this in their closet. Okay, this is the one that you shouldn't look too closely at. But even if you're looking from far away, you can probably tell it's a little dirty. Oh, there she is. Oh gosh, just ignore that. This was in the dirty laundry. But I had to show you guys because a vintage Nike, it's freaking it. I don't know why I kicked. But this is the perfect baggy Nike. You can literally see the wear on the collar. And what I love about this is it's a lower neck sweatshirt. And I think this necklace looks so cute with it. I know that not everybody's into the whole like athleisure look, but if I were to wear this with like even just like a little, you know, leggings or whatever it is, or even with jeans, I love having a little touch of a necklace to just like make it a little bit more feminine, make it a little bit dressed up. And I think this one fits it so perfectly because it's high enough that you can actually see it without it being like a choker, you know what I mean? So this one is just one of my favorites. I got this for a little bit more. I think this was like, 13 bucks because it's a vintage Nike, but I know that they have new school sweatshirts like this So I'll find one can't get that same worn in feel But it's still it's still good Now this ladies and gentlemen, this was a freaking find I can't take credit for this Brian actually found this little Fratagonia people can hang on Patagonia in these chinchillas that's what I think it is as much as they want but can you really because they're literally the best okay so this is actually a men's one and I love this color scheme so they have tons of these new and I would suggest buying a new but I was freaking out when we found this because it was 26 I actually still have the tag on it so I can even show you guys pavement coming through it was literally, oh, there's why, $26.95. I cannot, these go for like $100 or so, a little bit more than that. They're just perfect for like, you don't live in that cold of a place or if you live in a cold place and it's like that fall weather, they're just the most comfortable. I love how they cinch right here. And they just make my body feel so comfy, you know what I mean? Okay. This is the last sweatshirt, I promise. But I just couldn't say no to the OG Bronco sweatshirt. I went back and forth on this one, okay? Because it's like, you know, it's a little more manly of a fit. But it's just like, how can you say no when you know you'll never find these again? And this is my home team, people. You know what I mean? And I love this because it has this fun little collar here. The back has the detail. It has little cutouts. And I just feel like if I were ever to go to a game, I would literally wear this forever. And it's just 19 bucks for this. It's like, come on, how can we say no? But I love how this is all embroidered and it like pops out and all that good stuff. Obviously you guys can tell I have literally an obsession with sweatshirts, but I think they look good with everything and they're always so comfortable and you can just never have enough sweatshirts okay first ones are these shorts so i just like these shorts because it's hard again as i already said i won't go into it further for me to find jeans shorts stuff like that that fits um so 
These were really nice because they actually do. They're long enough, I feel like, that they don't just like, they're not booty shorts, but at the same time, they're so like cute and flattering. So these are pretty washed. These are actually Calvin Klein, you can tell by the look, they're pretty old. They even have, they even have like a little bit of a hole coming through right here. So hopefully that doesn't, you know, rip. But for the $15 that they were, I just think they're a really good staple. They're something you can wear with everything. And also super flattering to, I feel like, a lot of body types because of how they come in and then go outwards. I feel like when you style these, I love it with a top like this. Another top that I have that I really like to do with this. Because I know not everybody's into this look, but for me, I just love a white t-shirt look. You can kind of tuck it in at the top and just have it here. And I actually thrifted this as well for $5. I just got it so it's not even tags off. And look at this. So it actually has the vintage tag from Forever Go for $18. And I just thought that was so fun that literally it's that old and I just kind of pass it up. It's this amazing like waffly texture i don't know if you can see that yeah i love how that stuff feels and you can already see like a ring some gold jewelry with this i just think really makes it pop again makes it more feminine makes the outfit dress up so easily and so i love an outfit like this like i just think it's a really cute casual thing that makes you look put together but also is so easy and so comfortable to throw on now these shorts are my obsession now, they're a little bit big for me, but I just wanna show you guys the idea. First of all, with something like this, I know that this is too like loungy for some people, but I just feel like a comfy, cozy freaking goddess. I mean, come on, some people say not. But then if I were to take off this shirt, you can kind of see the fit. So I actually wanna get these taken in because then they would look a lot more like this. But a little trick that I have, if you have it too big, you can actually take a shoelace and you can tie them in together that way and it will kind of cinch it in to get it for this look. But what I love about these jeans is the fact that they come high. They have a really flattering way that they go down to the mid, not mid thigh, but like the first part of your thigh without being like the booty shorts. And they're just so comfortable with how they're worn. So obviously they do come down like to here, which is not the best of all worlds, but I just feel like pairing it with something, especially like one of these big sweatshirts, makes it really comfortable. And I really think that there's something people underrate about the flattery, flattery? I don't think that's a word, about how flattering jeans that come down or shorts that come down a little bit longer can really be. So if you can imagine, I'm obviously into the biker unit or the biker shorts movement. You know, I know some people hate it. I actually have some biker shorts to sew us next, okay? So don't hate on me. And then I actually have my best purchase of all, my best find of all time, I think, at thrifting coming after that, so you gotta stay tuned. Okay, these biker shorts, I think, are so cute. I should think of a different adjective. They're sporty, they're well, they fit well. They are really ones that have great thick fabric to hold you in. So when you look at this, and by hold you in, I mean for a workout too. I just think that this is a really, really nice material. I think it's cute how they have the little lilac pop of color right here that's super light. At the back, it has really flattering lines, as well as on these sides, I think these really elongate your legs, how they do these four different lines right here and the different ones that you can see. And I just absolutely love it. It even has one of the little pockets back here. But I just think that these are the best type of leggings or the best type of biker shorts to just wear around and all that good stuff. And they're from Free People. They do have stuff like this, so I'll link those down below. These freaking Al Goldie, how do you say it? Jeans. So I rolled them up a little bit because they're a longer fit. But I don't know if you guys are familiar with these jeans, but I have been wanting these jeans forever. They're basically, I'll link them down below because I do have literally new pairs of these. Like, they are so worth the price, um, but I couldn't afford them. So you know what I'm saying? Like, if you can afford the price, definitely go for it. If you can't, I mean, just keep searching. Maybe the thrift will happen. But I got these new with the tags on for $32 in my size, which is insane. I have no idea. They're like their little ripped red jeans. They're so cute and so comfortable. Like, well, look at this, look at this. Oh, 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 
Oh, comfortable, confident, good for girls with a smaller waist, the bigger legs, all of that good stuff. I'm sure bigger booty too, but I just think it's so cool that thrifting sustainably, we can have someone that takes these in and I can get them and reuse them for me and just like have it all in the cycle. Like even the fact that I'm wearing the like vintage jeans that who knows how old they are. The fact that I'm getting to use them and use so much out of them is so freaking cool. And that's why I love that Anna Luisa does what it does as a jewelry company because it can be really hard to find good thrifted jewelry pieces. You know, even unless they're passed down in your family. And so I think it's really important that when you are looking to look sustainably, I just think that is such a big difference. So if you want to check them out, if you liked any of these pieces, I'll put that discount code link down below. Guys, I had so much fun hanging out with you in this video. I don't know if you can tell, but I get overly excited for these hauls. I've already said that, so I need to stop saying it, but I really do. And thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout this whole time. If you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, it means so much if you gave it a like, if you hit that subscribe button if you want to stick around. And if you have any ideas that you want to see, this is really just kind of like an off the kilter thing for me. I actually am a dietitian, so that's why I like to interweave basically body image and body positivity in every video that I do. Oh, Otis! No! Oh my gosh, this is why the fiddle doesn't get to go over there. And I also, if you see my vlogs, you get to see a lot of this little cat little cat anyways he literally has the dirt on him right now i enjoyed it hanging out with you all so much i already said that but i'll say it again. and i can't wait to see you back here soon bye guys